Greetings of peace and solidarity to all the participants, to my co-presenters, and most especially to the organizers of the second Kuala Lumpur International Conference on Management, Education, and Technology, or it dubbed as Climate 2021, this 14th day of August at Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. My name is Kevin Kaduran, a PhD student at Central Bicol State University of Agriculture, Philippines, a student of Bicol University, and currently a faculty member at Bicol Regional Science High School. It is a humbling experience and a privilege to share to everyone our research paper entitled Develop Lessons in Graded Biology for Students with Different Learning Styles. It is my honor also to acknowledge my co-author of this paper, Mr. Joseph Roland Michalier, Nasol, a faculty of Bicol Regional Science High School. To start, the background of this paper entails the qual that quality learning is the core of the Department of Education's mandate. The holistic learning and development of learner is the primary focus of the K-12 curriculum. The learner is also empowered to make choices and to become responsible for his or her own learning in the classroom and for a lifetime that is highly emphasized during the basic education research agenda for 2016 to 2022. Now, there are studies such as the study of Bagat et al. last 2015, which they find out that students' academic performance is affected by their educational experiences, most especially at the post-secondary level. Now, learning styles have been defined as a composite cognitive, affective, and physiological characteristics are relatively stable indicators of how a learner perceives, interacts, and responds to the learning environment. A parallel study also was done by Gente et al. 2013, where teachers can explore and utilize different instructional strategies that considers the learner's varying characteristics, including metacognitive ability, learning style, readiness level, multiple intelligences, gender, even socioeconomic background, ethnicity, culture, physical ability, personality, special needs, and the different ways learners master the content of a particular learning area. It is worth to mention that what works for one learner may not work for another. Therefore, none of the methods and techniques has proved that they can work all the time in all cases and with all types of students. Also, students vary in the way they process and understand information as supported by research that there is an increase in grade point average that occurs when the teacher and the student learning style are more closely matched with each other. That brought us that educators should ensure that activities are designed and carried out in ways that offer each learner the chance to engage in the manner that suits them best. It's also worth mentioning that developing the flexibility to respond productively to all sorts of instructional situations would be a laudable goal for students. Thus, the purpose of this paper is to design and develop lessons which are aligned to the learning styles of great students of Beacon Regional Science High School and to see if there is a significant relation between the two. For the methodology, we have used several criteria such as the research design, we make use of descriptive research using pre-experimental one-group pre-test process design. We have the grade eight students of junior high school, the special science program in Bicol Regional Science High School as our respondents. It was carried out uh, in the year 2018. And for the research instruments, we make use of Colverding Elementary 4.0 version. Uh, we make use also of pre-test and post-test, even journal entries, process observation tool, by the teachers and most especially the focus group discussion. For the statistical treatment, we consider the performance level and its effect size. And for the analysis of data, we make use of the statistical analysis. Now, as you can see on the screen, these are the several um, criterions or components which was the basis on developing the lessons, namely the content, the format, the presentation and organization, accuracy and up-to-datedness, and most importantly, the addressing identified learning styles of students. We can see that all of them has the mean and has a corresponding description of very satisfactory. It is also worth to mention that there are 10 juror validators that verify the developed lessons 
with respect to the criterions and components. And we proceed to the whole learning style inventory, which was used by the researchers to profile the learning style of the students. So there are actually four, and these are subdivided into um, nine. For under concrete experience, we have initiating, experiencing, imagining. For the reflective, we have the acting and balancing. For the active experimentation, we have the deciding and analyzing. And for the abstract, we have the thinking and also the balancing. With regards to the respondents, there are 31. And the most dominant type of learning style is the abstract conceptualization, which was followed by the reflective observation. Thereafter are the active experimentation, followed by the balancing. And there's only one student who manifested a concrete experience learning style. Just to give an overview on what are the important observations by students who manifested several learning styles for balancing students, they have this type of primary approach wherein they make their learning experiences better when they do it firsthand. And then when they do it actively by participating in group works. For the abstract conceptualization, uh, these students look at the performance of other groups and improve it to produce much better results. For the reflective observation students, uh, this type of learners draws their experiences by reflecting from their experiences, which include their feelings and perspective. And for the abstract conceptualization, these are students which has a sense of practical aspect and choose the best path to achieve their task. And for the concrete experience uh, students, these are the type of learners which found meaning from the, diff from the different activities by means of deep involvement and physically engaging himself resulting to better outputs and learning experiences. Now, these are the specific breakdown of the students who took the whole learning style inventory. Now, these are the sample of um, plates or grades that the students have the answer. We can see that under the balancing, the stroke or the bend of the plate are equal in all angles. For the deciding, it tends to bend going to the active experimentation. In terms of the acting learning style, again, the bending of the grid goes to the left side, which falls also under the active experimentation. Now, opposite under the reflecting learning style grid, thus uh, the grid tends to show that the learners has a reflective observation which tends to bend on the right side of the plate. Now, when we look at the grid of students who took the cobbler and cell inventory, under the thinking style, we can see that the bend of the grid goes to the active experimentation side. And for the students experiencing learning style grid, uh, again, the bend of the grid goes to the left side of the grid, which falls also under the active experimentation. It is also important to note that during the development of the lessons which was given to the students, there are specific activities that correspond to their learning styles. For instance, under the concrete experience, uh, there are activities which are embedded with their experience, recall of experience, simulations and lecture examples. Now for active experimentation, the activities which are very suitable for them are field work, projects, case studies, and simulations. For students who have reflective observation learning style, they do better when they are exposed with brainstorming, journals, rhetorical questions, and even thought questions for readings. And for abstract conceptualization, uh, they are perform better when they are given analogies and descriptions in lecture, model critics, project proposals, and model building exercises. As you can see now, these are the several uh, differentiated instructions that addresses the students' different learning styles in each of the developed lesson or topic. That goes to the next topic, which is spacious diversity. 
for the genetic diversity. Um, it's also important to note that there are also preliminary and developmental activities that are incorporated along the delivery of the lesson, much as to the ecosystem diversity, the six kingdoms of biology, and the role of humans in species extinction and species protection and economic role. And lastly, the ecosystem approach to sustaining biodiversity. Uh, as you can see, with regard to the main, uh, main gain uh, of content knowledge in biodiversity, there's an increase of from 25.72 mean score to 29.07%. As we can see, um, there is a significant increase um, in using the developed lessons along the course of the, the paper. Now, for the conclusion, there were five groups of learning styles present among the students. There were 11 lessons developed for students with different learning styles that enhance students' learning experiences and allow the conceptual understanding and metacognitive skills of students in biology surface. The students appreciated the various activities in the lessons, making their learning experiences better, and the developed lessons have effects on students' conceptual understanding and metacognitive skills towards biology. For the recommendation, the developed lessons in the study may be adopted by teachers teaching in junior high school under the subject special science aid curriculum. The teachers may also develop activities in the teaching of biology that will address the different learning styles of the students. Um, another is the school may encourage teachers to develop lessons in biology for the junior high school, such as seminars, trainings, workshops, may also be conducted for teachers on the development of lessons that match the learning styles of students. And further studies may be conducted to determine the effects of the developed lessons of the students with different learning styles using controlled and experimental groups. So that's the end of the presentation. And again, I'd like to acknowledge the co-author of this paper, Mr. Joseph Roland Michael Yernesol of Bicol Regional Science High School. Again, thank you so much for the organizers of the second Kuala Lumpur International Conference on Management, Education and Technology, or LAB as Climate 2021, for this very exciting opportunity. God bless everyone.